Hi, my name is Carla. I'm a registered nurse. And for this problem, we're going to be focusing on finding the pediatric safe dosage range. So looking at this problem, you can see that it says the doctor orders ampicillin 275 milligrams QID four times a day. The child's weight is 20 kilograms. The pharmacy tells you that the drug can be given safely at 50 to 60 milligrams per kilogram per day. What is the safe dosage range for this child. So we are finding the safe dosage range, meaning we need the highs and the lows for this child's based on their weight, the 20 kilograms. Those 275 milligrams that we are being told right now, the only time you're going to need that is if they are asking you if the order that the doctor prescribed, those 275 milligrams QID, are safe. If the doctor's doing their job, are they underdosing, overdosing, or are they good? Here, they're not asking us that. They only want us to know the ranges. So to figure out the ranges, we are going to use this information, the 50 to 60 milligrams per day, because this tells you essentially the highs and the lows. And then all you have to do is incorporate the child's weight. So to find the safe dosage range, your answer should be in milligrams per day. Ultimately, that's what we're trying to find. So the very first step I'm going to do is write equals milligram per day. Now I need to do this finding a milligram per day for the low and the high. By low, I mean those 50 here, and by high, I mean the 60 here. So let's start with the low. So let's start with the low. Let's use those 50 milligrams per kilogram per day. I'm going to plug it in, making sure that those 50 milligrams are on the top, because again, my answer has milligrams at the top. And then those kilogram per day are on the bottom. So everything looks good. So looks good so far. I have milligrams in my numerator. Perfect. And I have day in the denominator. The only problem is I still have kilograms there. I don't want kilograms. I need to make sure I get rid of those kilograms. So to get rid of those kilograms, I can just use the child's weight of 20 kilograms. And I'm going to make sure I put that in the numerator, 20 kilograms in my numerator. That way I can cancel it out with the numerator kilograms and the denominator kilograms. So I've canceled out my kilograms and I'm finally left with only milligrams per day, which is what I want, what I'm trying to solve for over here. That means that I can go ahead and solve now. So let's use the calculator. I already know the answer in my head, but let's just double check. So 20 times 50 and we get a thousand. So for this child's weight of 20 milligrams, they need to get 1000 milligrams in the entire day. Now let's do the same thing, but using the high. So let's do a high of 60 milligrams this time. So we're doing the exact same problem, exact same question using those 20 kilograms, except the only difference is we are using now 60 milligrams. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, 60 milligrams per kilogram per day. And again, I am solving for milligram per day. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the child's weight, same as we did before. We're going to make sure that we put it in the numerator. So 20 kilograms, that gives me the ability to now cancel out kilograms and end up with only milligrams per day, which is exactly what I, what I want. So now let's solve. So 60 times 20 gives us 1200. So 1200 milligrams per day. But how does this help me? Is this going to be beneficial in any way? Well, here they didn't ask you if the doctor's order is safe, but if they would ask you if the doctor's order is safe, you know that the maximum you can give is 1200 milligrams and the minimum you can give is 1000 milligrams per day. So the doctor's order says 275 milligrams QID. QID does not mean in a whole entire day, you're going to give 275 milligrams. QID means that every dose is 275 milligrams and you repeat that 275 milligrams four times throughout one day. So if that means I am repeating 275 milligrams per day, I know that in one day, that's essentially four times that amount. So we can figure that out. Let's do that right now. So 275 times four is 1,100, 1,100. So in an entire day, this child is meant to receive 1100 milligrams. And again, that's per day. So per dose, they get 275 milligrams per day. They get 1100 milligrams. If the question were to ask you, is the doctor's order within the safe range? You can go ahead and solve that just the way we did 
by making sure that you figure out those 275, 275 milligrams in a day. And we said it's 1100. So does 1100 milligrams per day fit within the safe dosage parameters that we just solved for of 1000 milligrams per day as the low and 1200 milligrams per day as the high? It does. So 1100 milligrams per day, the doctor's order is within safe parameters. And that's how you would solve that. If you only want to figure out if the doctor's order is within a safe range, I do have that video. So go ahead and check it out here and I will see you there.